morning, good morning guys. I've been gone for a week. Haven't posted a video in seven days. Where the hell were you, Dima? What were you doing? I was in Los Angeles at the Bob Proctor Fourth Dimensional Leadership Seminar. Amazing, amazing. Feeling jazzed, feeling good, feeling ready to like do some shit around here. If you, uh, if you have the opportunity or if you have the desire to, I'd highly, highly, highly recommend that you check out one of his seminars. Um, he typically does them in Los Angeles and it is, trust me, just trust me on this one. If you go to that seminar, you will leave it with a much more, um, a much different approach and a much different idea of what you think about success and abundance in your life. Do it. All right, so what I'm gonna be working on today is I'm gonna start running the four inch lines from this tank all the way up to the rain roof. I saw a lot of your comments about putting some type of first flush diverter up there with like a 55 gallon uh, drum. I don't know, I just wanna keep it simple and introducing something like that into the, uh, into the lines there, I just think it might cause more problems over the long run. It's gonna be easier for water to be lost out of the system. I just like having those lines run to here and then this is gonna act as the first flush diverter and I think that's gonna be a much better approach than introducing something up there. So I'm gonna come in here with the backhoe, start digging out the trench, and then I also need some room down here for the Y's so that we can put our cleanouts on the end. These fancy little guys right here. So like I said on the video explaining this, we're gonna have two four inch lines come down. We're gonna have the Y's at the bottom. We're gonna 90 up, 90 in. And what I want with the, uh, with the inlet here, I want the inlet holes right here to be above the level of where the overflow is gonna be. So the overflow on that side there is, it's about right in the middle. So I wanna drill these holes as close to the top as I can. And then that's gonna promote the water for the overflow to go out the overflow as opposed to back out and filling this pipe up even more. All right, let's bring the tractor over and start digging some shit up. Callie, you're gonna be in the way. We made this little cat house for them out of the straw bales. I don't know if they're gonna necessarily use it, but you never know, they might.
All right, so we get the trench done. That's the hardest part of this entire thing. It's the same thing like with usually running wire for a long distance that you're trenching underground. It's just the trenching that is the hardest part. Um, actually running the wire, or in this instance, running the pipe, is just gonna be me throwing the pipe in there and just gluing it and then just moving on to the next one. That's always the, uh, the funny thing with plumbing and electrical. It's usually just the trenching. That's the hard part but you still have to do it anyways. All right, so it's about four o'clock. I'm gonna start running the pipe. I should be able to, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to run it. It shouldn't take that long, I hope not. And uh, let's get started. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna work on finishing the, uh, the rest of the pipe tomorrow, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing, uh, basically where those Ys are in the 90s going up into the tank, because uh, I'm gonna do a little something a little bit different. It's not gonna be just covered with dirt. I think I'm gonna put some gravel and a little bit of landscape rock on top just to prevent um, the sand and stuff from eroding. So I'm gonna be working on that tomorrow, and we'll get this fully buttoned up and what I'm also going to do, the 90s going into the tank, I'm probably going to run a bead of cock all the way around. <laughs> all the way around, a little bead of cack. Then once the four-inch lines are run up to the, uh, to the gutters, which we're getting on the 24th, and I believe today is the 21st, and then we can, we can hook them up and then we'll be rainwater harvesting. While I was away in California, it was crazy. We got a, a ton of rain, just way more rain. So probably at least another inch or so, maybe even two inches. So we got quite a bit of rain. And when I was in Cal when I was in LA, holy moly, you guys got your first rain. And my, uh, my buddy said it was like like first like real rain in like six or seven years. But yeah, the Southwest is getting a lot of uh, it's getting a lot of rain here, so that's good. Let me show you a few more things. Some subscribers sent us uh, some stuff. So I also got a haircut. It was pretty brutal. Okay. So I got another hat from Tom. Thank you for sending me the hat. And he also sent a couple of belts as well. So I had a nice green one and then a nice black one. And uh, now I have three belts. What am I gonna do with three belts? Now everyone in the comments is gonna be like, D-Man, you're not a minimalist anymore. You have three belts. There's no need for three belts. I kind of like these ones nicer because as they wrap around this, then the little, little bit extra there, Velcro's onto that. So that's kind of nice. And then also Adam, who visited here, um, I think a couple of weeks ago, he sent us some gloves. So how nice is that? I get to, I, I threw out my old ones that were just falling apart and uh, he sent us two new pairs of gloves. So awesome, thank you so much guys. And I will uh, catch you on the next video. Talk to you soon, peace. He's like my little baby boy. Oh.